What's up guys, coming at you here with another video review. This time we're taking a look at iGear's hench figure. Now this guy is a third party, so we're taking a look at another third party figure. We've been doing a lot of lately. Um, first we're just, we're just gonna start real quick by taking off his gun. I just wanted to show you that you can store his gun up on the top there. So we'll take a look at that in a little bit. Put that off to the side for now. So this guy is an homage to G1 Braun. Uh, so, Take a look at him next to G1 Braun. Uh, as you can see, he is a hell of a lot bigger. So this guy was totally, totally upsized. I mean, that's just crazy how much bigger he is. Just a G1. So you can take a look. They're pretty, you know, that's pretty good. Pretty good in vehicle mode so far, as far as an homage. We'll put him off to the side for now. So just coming, just taking a look real quick at him. First of all, the first thing you notice is his massive, massive size. He is huge compared to G1 Braun. Um, I would have liked to see him smaller because the transformation seems like it fits a smaller figure better than a larger figure. So you can tell like they just took a smaller figure with you know a smaller figure's transformation and just upscaled it, just made it bigger, blew it up. Which is a little bit disappointing, but I mean, I, overall, I do really like him. I do really like the way he looks. I do think he's pretty awesome. Um, so yes, we got a spare tire on the top here. We got plastic, solid plastic wheels. Most of the robot modes on the bottom, you can see pretty obviously. Um, two gas cans as opposed to the one on the G1. Um, that's the biggest major difference between the two of them as far as uh, accuracies. So yeah, let's uh, take a look at his transformation. So these iGear new uh, mini warrior figures don't peg together crazy. They more it's more like you line up the panels and you set them. Um, this guy's like a hybrid in between, like everything pegs together and everything doesn't peg together. Um, this is what I mean. We'll start with the doors. You can see there's a panel line right there. So what you do is you just separate it. Right there, the panel line, and it's on a, it's on a ball inside. So I mean, you can. So we're just gonna lift them for now, and I just popped it off the ball. Awesome. So again, it was like that. Not quite so much force next time. So I will just lift those up for now. We're gonna come around back, and there's a panel right back here on the hinge. You just push that in a little bit because that locks the two gas cans in more or less. And it also push, has this whole section here. So what we're going to do is separate the legs. And then you're just going to come back here on the trunk section and just lift the whole thing up and out of the way. It's on, just on a hinge. So now the legs. Uh, the legs are a bit of controversy uh, for some people. Um, some people can't figure out how to, tra how to transform them properly. A lot of people don't like them. I think they're fine. I, you know, I can transform them fine. Um, but you want to start by... On the hip, you want to rotate that around so that it looks proper. And you want to make sure that this section right here is pointing up like that. Take a look at it on this side. See, because it can go that way or that way, but it obviously has to go that way. When you have it in hand, it's kind of hard to describe, but when you have it in hand, you can totally figure out which way it's supposed to go. So the knee is facing up. And then you take this half of the leg, and you just rotate it around and you squeeze. And this is a pain in the butt to undo, but you just gotta get in there and pry it. So the bottom of the gas can forms the foot. Rotate it around so it's facing proper uh, forward. So again, rotate it around at the hip. Make sure the knee is facing proper. Fold it in half and pinch. So I don't understand why people are getting uppity about that, but it's fine for me. Um, so now just lift the doors up out of the way again. The arms are just on balls, so you just bring them out, rotate them around so that the elbows facing the right way, and the same thing on this side as well. Rotate it around. Now I'll come around to the back, and you're gonna fold this little bit that was holding the 
um, gas cans in. You just fold that down and under, and then you fold this whole section up. It just kind of sits there. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't pack anywhere. Same thing with the doors. The doors you can do whatever you want with. You can leave them like that and have them be like Inferno. Look like an idiot. Um, you can put them straight back like that. Um, I just usually fold them straight back and down over everything. And there we have Hench in robot mode. Stand. Stay. Cool. Like I said, a lot of this stuff is hard to do from behind the camera. Okay, so let's take a look at his gun real quick. He has this cool Cybertronian shotgun. Um, it's got a painted pump, which is really cool. A uh, little detail. There's no holes in the front. It's just solid plastic, but I think this weapon is awesome. I think it goes perfect with him and his personality. I think that looks awesome. So big plus for that. Um, the other feature he has, I'm just going to take this out for now. The other feature he has is he has two faces because of the G1 figure, which we'll take a quick look at. I'm just going to transform him real quick. I haven't even touched this guy in so long. I just pulled him off my shelf. I started doing the review, forgot to get him. Went back to get him, and I'm like, oh my god, I forgot how to transform him. Luckily, it's G1, so it's simple. That is G1 Braun. He's got hooks for hands. He's got a funny face. It's just how we, what we got. So, then we have the two of them side by side. Why is the G1 standing up and this one's not? There we go. So, hold on here. Just gonna lift my camera up. Up a little bit, get better perspective and get you focused. So let's take a look at the two of them side by side. You can see the color similarities, but you notice that the faces, when I focus properly, do not match. This is the show accurate face, and this is what we got for the toy. So we can actually flip his head all the way around 180, not all the way around, but 180 degrees around. And then we get a second face, which is very hard to get at because I don't have fingernails. <sighs> Come on, there we go, good enough. So there we have the toy accurate face. So you can see right there. So if you wanted to have your hench be the toy brawn, you can have it. If you wanted it to be the show brawn, you can have that too. That's really cool that they gave us those um, different options. I'm going to put G1 on the side for now. Let's just get his face back because I don't really care for that face. If I can just get in there and rotate it around. There we go. So yeah, as far as articulation, you just saw his head can, is on a ball, but it's limited by the um, collar here, the, the hood, I guess. Um, so it's hard to get in there to, to rotate it and uh, you know position it. The shoulders are balls on both sides. They go all the way around. Elbows are on balls, so you get good side to side, up and down. Um, hips are on balls. Knees are on balls. And there is a little bit, you can see the pin right there, there's a little bit of pivot in the foot. So you can't get a great range of motion in the feet, but it's pretty decent. And as far as these door panels, when you when you maneuver the arms, you can reposition these as you want, however you want because of those ball, there are ball joints in there as well. They get in the way, like if you move your shoulder, the shoulder back, so that's why it's good to be able to move them. But I usually put, keep them forward so I can bring the panels down. So there is one problem with this guy. Mine's not as bad as some of the others out there, but his left shoulder 
comes out of the bowl, out of the, the socket. So if you just, luckily mine's not that bad. Like some people I just saw that you go like that and it, boop, it falls out. But mine you have to actually wiggle it and then it will come out. So I'm not, it's not that bad. I don't know if they fix this on subsequent runs, but mine seems to be okay. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. And I mean, let's face it, you're not gonna sit around playing with them too much. You're gonna be more concerned about how he looks on a shelf. And he looks awesome on a shelf. I do wish he was a little bit smaller. So he does seem like he was blown up and the transformation seems kind of simple which I'm not crazy about. I do wish he was a little bit smaller. I mean, he doesn't have to be as small as the G1 toy. But I mean, you know, a little bit taller would have been, I think would have been uh, maybe like up to there or something. He didn't have to be this gigantic and out of proportion with the G1. But I mean, it is what it is. What are you gonna do? And the leg got full legs out. Oh, this guy did not really hold up too great over the years. He's all drunk and leaning over. Yeah, I forget. I was going to have him in the final shot, but screw it. Put his shotgun back in his hand. I mean, I think this embodies Braun perfectly. I'm totally happy with him. I think he's awesome. Um, I can't wait until the repro label set comes, because I ordered that, and we're going to get some proper stickers on him and get him really looking like Braun and really looking cool. So you are going to get another video of him with the repro label set along with the next guy you're gonna get who you will see in a minute well not in a minute a minute for me but some time for you so yeah this has been iGears hench